comes to the laptops, there are two very simple rules. Rule 1, you can't upgrade everything. Rule 2, if it's from a great fruit company, you can't upgrade anything. Not the storage, not the RAM and not even your regrets. But what if I told you there's a laptop that looked at these rules and said screw it and let you practically upgrade everything. Because this thing is built different and it absolutely settled the rule book in the best possible way. Something about this laptop doesn't follow the normal logic of laptops today. Most devices are sealed, shut, hiding everything behind the screws and the glued panels. The moment you look at it, even before opening, there's a sense that it wasn't built for the average buyers. Every line, every panel, every design choice seems to hint at something unusual. Something that invites exploration rather than hides secrets. It's the kind of laptop that makes you pause and think, who designed this and why? There's a story hidden in the way it's built. Most laptops today are designed to keep you out. Companies lock devices, glue components and hide screws making upgrades nearly impossible. Though there are gaming laptops that let you upgrade RAM and storage, but there are also some thin and light devices like MacBook that don't let you upgrade anything. But then there is this one, it doesn't follow that script. Every major component, CPU, GPU, RAM, storage, ports or even the keyboard is intensely modular. And that's why this machine doesn't feel like it's a product built for masses. It feels like a statement for anyone who want control over their tech. The first thing that hits you when you see this laptop is the logo. A gear shaped settings icon proudly centered on the top plate, clean and precise. From there, the chassis draws you in clean, purposeful lines, ads and panels that feels intentional rather than decorative and a 16 inch display framed by the slim color bezels that hints at the industrial design without the bulk. And just like this laptop upgrades everything, you can also upgrade your day by subscribing. The keyboard layout is also visually balanced, hinting at flexibility and the thoughtful design. While every vent, screws and cutout seem deliberately placed, the logo combined with these design cues sets the tone. This is the laptop that wants to be explored, not hidden away. And as you look closer, you start noticing the hints that there is more going on beneath the surface, something most laptops don't even dare to offer. But what exactly is hiding under the hood? And that's where the things get interesting. Now this is where the framework laptops truly starts to feel like it exists in a different universe. Most laptop treats upgrade like a forbidden magic. Sealed, glued, untouchable but here, every choice, every component is practically inviting you to tinker. Take the GPU for example. The rear expansion bay isn't just a port, it's a gateway. Start with the integrated GPU, then swap to the original Radeon RX 7700S or go wild with the NVIDIA RTX 5070 in the newer configurations. And when you realize you can actually just pull it out and replace it, you can't help but think, wait. We are actually allowed to do this and it doesn't stop there. The main board itself is replaceable. That means when a new AMD Ryzen AI 300 series CPU drops, this laptop can upgrade right along with it. You are not stuck in 2025 hardware forever. Now for the RAM, there are two DDR5 slots that gives you up to 64 GB. Just like a gaming laptop, you can just pop it up and slot it in. As simple as swapping a game cartridge. Storage flows just as naturally. Two NVMe slots. Whether you want speed, space or both, it's all within reach. And the ports, 6 swappable expansion card slots lets you craft the laptop exactly the way you want it. USB-C, USB-A, HDMI, DisplayPort, Ethernet, microSD, all rearrangeable at well, then there's the input system and this is where the things get really wild. The keyboard, numpad and the macro pad are fully hot swappable. Want a different switch type, a custom keycap or just a new layout? It's not just typing, it's a fully customizable playable interface. Finally, the display and bezels. The 16 inch 2560 by 1600 165Hz IPS panel isn't glued in place. The screen and the surrounding bezels are fully replaceable. And why don't we see more of this? Companies made profit by selling the sealed devices, which creates the fear of missing out. Meaning, every year you feel like your laptop or hardware is getting older and you need a new laptop for the upgrade. This laptop disrupts that. Quietly challenging the industry, there is another way. If one company can do it, why can't everyone? Maybe the rules we have been following have been fake all along. Of course, breaking the rule has some problems. Minor fit and finish issues, louder fans under load, and the GPU swaps take care and patience. It's bulkier than the ultra slim machines, you trade thinness and silence for freedom and long-term flexibility. But really, when has rule breaking ever been flawless? It's about having the freedom to balance performance, portability, and efficiency depending on where and how you are working. 
Now this laptop clearly sits in the premium category. The AI300 series starts at 1500 US dollars while the 7040 series comes in 1300 USD. You are paying for something more than just a laptop. It's a freedom to swap parts, upgrade components and extend the machine's life for years. But there is one big limitation. India still isn't open for the ordering. When you select the India as the reason, you are met with a simple message saying they haven't launched AI yet and offering an email sign up to be notified when it does. So for now, framework remains as a glimpse to what the future laptops could be. Maybe that's part of what makes it intriguing. Laptops so innovative, rare and worth waiting for. Maybe this is just the start. Maybe more brands will rethink how they design the laptop or maybe this will remain a rare rebel in the world of serial devices. Either way, it makes you ask a question. If a laptop like this exists, why are we still accepting the limits we don't have to? Let me know in the comments. Would you go for a modular or you will stick with the usual? And if you want more deep dive into the tech that's quietly breaking the rules, hit subscribe and join the rebellion. See you in the next one.